Uh, hi, I'm Ivan Rodic. Uh, I'm doing the blog facehunter.org and as well a visual diary called ivanrodic.com. We are right now in front row at Costume National and I'm very excited to, to see the show. I think Paris Fashion Week is probably the most interesting because it gathers in the same time the big institution of fashion, the big fashion houses, and at the same time like very uh, uh, new designers from all around the world, so you can have uh, the biggest diversity of crowds. So for me to photograph people, I can have like big editors, I can have like young fashion students, I can have all kind of style from all around the world gathered in one spot. So it's like it's really amazing to be here. I think I think it's incredible because I just started four years ago. It was really like a small small thing, uh, and now like a few years later, uh, we got as bloggers we get so much attention. It seems like. Yeah, it's really now the time of to be a blogger. Now it's it's incredible. Uh, it has really changed the the um, uh, the media landscape. It has, it has changed the fashion and the media landscape. I think because uh, only five years ago, the 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 structure of, of the media and the fashion was very simple. There would be like a few media who would just have access to the fashion shows, who would have the monopoly of information, and they would just give it to the mass and nowadays with the bloggers get more and more invited now this last season I've seen so many people so many bloggers being sitting front row or anyway at least at, at the show and these people have um, can like share the information directly to to their readers we, and so it's like for most of their the consumers and the readers in the world there's like uh, there's like thousands of different uh, source of information. It's not only one thing to follow. It's like so many information that people now have the choice. They can decide for themselves what they want and what they like. So it, it has uh, transformed the fashion into something much more participative and democratic. And as Susie Menke said the other day, fashion used to be a monologue and now it's, it's, a, it's a conversation. So I think it's much more interesting and exciting that everyone can somehow participate and bring something. So we, we are really in 2010, uh, one of the most exciting points of the history of fashion, I think. I'm working on different things, but I, I've just published my, my book already, that's one thing. I'm, I'm as well working on a, a web TV show, it's called The Face Hunter Show. And I think there's a, there's a big uh, potential for bloggers uh, to go for more videos. I mean, so far, 99% of the blogs in the world are text and photo oriented, and now uh, there are uh, I think and maybe you've heard about this girl in in, uh, in Florida. She's doing a, a, a makeup tutorial, and she's getting millions of views on, on YouTube. And I think that we will see in the f near future more people doing their own TV channel and doing videos. And I think that's a big, big uh, 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 potential. Yeah. So that's your next direction. Yes, for me as well. Uh, Today. Yeah, exactly. It's like waking up all, all, usually at six in the morning. Walking, editing, sending pictures for like magazine and deadlines, and then running to the first show. Spend the whole day running from show to show, taking pictures inside, outside, and then going home, editing, and then going to the parties and going to bed at four in the morning, sleeping two hours, and then thinking that the day after I will have more time, but I never have more time. But it's exciting at the same time. It's kind of a positive uh, a stress, you know. What? Um, I, I don't know what to expect. I, I expect to be surprised actually, and um, yeah, I don't. I don't want something specific. I want the new ideas and I need uh, to be um, yeah, inspired and surprised. Enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Okay. Grazie mille. Thank you.